mother always knew you were special. If you believe, you'd be the one to unite our two worlds. What's up, YouTubers? Aquaman has been seen in China and the reviews are unreal. They're giving this movie 10 out of 10. And I did a video last week talking about this versus Black Panther and would it be better? And so far, so many of my subscribers replied that this thing blows that and any other Marvel movie out the water. I want you all to take a quick look at some of the comments I've been getting about Aquaman. Having seen the Ray reviews, I had to bring in an unbiased, simple comic book lover who has no fan allegiance to any affiliation, just love comics. And if you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop these life gain videos. Let's jump into it. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, Mr. Damn All Everything, the sexy as hell bearded one. Back with my homie James. Y'all just seen them crazy comments from the video I did on Aquaman with critics saying it could be better than Black Panther or Affinity War. So I got my main man here to tell me what he thinks and we want to hear what you guys think too. Some of you have seen it, so leave your comments if you haven't. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. James, after seeing that litany of crazy ass comments, my... You think these are fanboys? A little bit. Here's the thing. With, with any DC movie, the expectations are so low <laughs> that if, it, if, if the storyline oh makes any sense oh and it looks good, and I'm talking about Superman's upper lip. You all know what I'm talking oh about. Oh, my God. If, if it looks halfway decent and the storyline makes some sense, it's going to be a great movie. But here's... You know, here's the thing, though. It, like, if it makes any sense, it'll be a great movie compared to all other DC movies, which leads me to... It's sort of like... You remember Sarah Palin? And the feeling about her was, if she doesn't embarrass herself and screw up, she did pretty good that day. Oh, my God. And it's the same principle. And I don't mean to get into politics, but, I mean, you all remember Sarah Palin. That was the whole thing. Anytime she didn't embarrass herself, everybody was like, she did great that time. That's how it's going to be with Aquaman. But it, here's, it here's the problem terrible. with her. Sarah Palin did have some fanboys and groupies. Uh, yes. You know, she, she had an appeal with some people, but it wasn't crossover appeal. It wasn't. Um, I, this... I look forward to seeing this movie, as I did all the other DC movies. Me too. Um, but they are so... What, more misses than hits. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the ones that are good are actually pretty good. So, I'm still having trouble with better than, well, any more, you know, fill in the Marvel movie. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, let's not say that now. Now, I will say this about DC. Mm -hmm. Their TV shows are great. Oh, yeah. Their cartoons are way better than Marvel. The animated movies. And, and, and their video games. And their video games are great. And their standalone films that don't have the superheroes coming together oh. are have been great. Yes. We'll think Dark Knight. I'll think Wonder Woman. I'll think um, Superman was okay. Some of them. It was okay. It was okay. I, you know, I enjoyed Man of Steel probably more than most. That's what I'm saying. The more I see it, the more I appreciate it. The exactly. first time I was like, what yeah. the hell did I just watch? Right, so, right. right. So, now, do, do you... So, where are you going to rank Aquaman? Given everything that my review, my people have that have seen it have said about it, where do you think it's going to fall? Because I really wasn't a big fan of Venom as a movie, but China loved that crazy, creepy crap. They loved it over there. They just love it. Oh. And apparently they're loving Aquaman. I feel good. Based on what I'm hearing from other people, I feel good saying it'll probably be in top three. I, where will I it be agree. In, where will I it be agree. in my personal list? Yep. No idea yet. But right. I feel good saying it'll be in the top three. Did you ever think Jason Momoa 
could hold the fort down and become like Rock 2.0. <laughs> you know, he does a great job with the material he's given. Oh, God. He hey, does. man, that's a backhanded compliment. Because I've been on people that the only reason this man gets jobs is because he looks good to women. But they are saying that he doesn't just look good in this movie. He brings charisma. He brings moxie. He brings attitude that we have never seen in a superhero. And he did it in, all the, he did it in the last one. What was that? Justice uh, League. Justice League. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, he did in Justice League, too. He did a great job with the material he was given. <laughs> So, it so, was such a bad movie that the things that were good really stood out, and he was one of them. I'll give him credit. Um, he did a great job with the material he was given. <laughs> Either way you look at it, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go see the movie now. We're, oh, yeah. We are going to definitely go see the movie. And let's be honest, if, even if everyone's saying this may be the worst one yet, we'd still probably go see the yeah, movie. Yeah, we'd go see it. Yeah. We'd go see it. So last question, we'll get you out of here. Now, I want you guys to leave me comments on what I'm going to ask him. How much do you think this movie is going to make worldwide? Worldwide? World, is it going to pass Venom? Because oh. Ven, Venom has done gangbusters. Venom, I think, is right now right at $800 million. You know, and the number that came to my mind, I don't think it's going to make as much as it should. I'm going to say three seventy-five million. million? Yeah. No way. You think much more? No way. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Aquaman will cross... Five hundred million dollars. It's gonna cross it and cross it good. And okay. that's, that's the prediction. I hope I'm wrong. I do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's just our follow up. I need to get a friend on on tape to see these crazy comments. Boy, y'all be tripping them down there in the <laughs> comment section. But keep it coming. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let me know how much y'all want to start seeing James on these videos because he brings a whole lot that I can't bring. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.